Welcome to Trivia Night. Voted most painful quiz show seven straight years. But it's got trivia and stuff, and it's fun. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. Woo! Doing presentations make me nervous, but I got through it. My public speaking teacher, Mr. Temmy, would be so proud. Now let's play. All right, first question. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just punishing someone for not sharing their Netflix password with me. What year was Netflix founded? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. I want to show you something. Welcome to the killing floor. We're going to play chalices. There are eight chalices. Half of them are poisoned. Pick a chalice to drink from. I bought most of these chalices at a garage sale. The former owner seems like a real judo. Mmm. Hope it tasted good. Now let's see what everyone drank. Life is pain. So, I just killed you and you're totally a ghost now. But trivia is not just for those drawing breath. Keep playing and you might just rejoin the living. Never underestimate a ghost, son. Let's take a look at the scores. Now, don't get upset if you're in last place. Just do your best and know that you are special. But also, I will kill you, so do better. All right, next question. What was journalist Edward R. Murrow's closing line at the end of newscasts? Picked this one. Lame. All right, next question. What type of animal is Ricky Ticky Tavi? <laughs> Who said this? of you who are still alive, you're in for a treat. Welcome back to the killing floor. Let's test your memory. Memorize the pattern. All right, let's hide my toys. You know, I still remember my locker combination from eighth grade gym class. It was 25 to the right, four to the left, but you had to skip the first four and then go all the way around again until you hit the four for a second time. Then 34 to the right, 25, four, 34. Why don't we still remember that? Life is so weird sometimes. Anyway, from left to right, what was the order of the colors? And if your puny brains can only remember one thing, yeah! don't come in last. This was the pattern. How did you do? You're all equally forgetful. I'm going to enjoy this. Dang it, you're all dead before the final round. I was gonna live tweet it or maybe Snapchat it. I mean, I don't know how to work Snapchat, but I was gonna figure it out for you.
Terrible tragedy. I'd stay away from that old abandoned farmer's market if I were you. Rumor has it, some awful things happened there. A party game that still had a single player option. Some pretty senseless confusing stuff. Eight people died. Just how that old soothsayer predicted. Terrible. Well, I'm gonna go masturbate in the graveyard. Nice talking to you. Hi, the party's downstairs. Come on in. I love sequels. Let's hope this is more of a Godfather 2 and not a Blues Brothers 2000. Okay, first question. Former Microsoft CEO Steve Ballmer purchased which NBA team in 2014? And the correct answer is... Who got it right? Hmm, too easy. Next question. Angel Falls, the world's tallest and most romantic waterfall, is on what continent? This one. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Let's play a game. Welcome to the killing floor. Oh look! There's a pile of money on the floor. That's weird. I did have this earmarked for my trip to the wine country, but uh... Oh, what the hell? Take as much money as you want, but take the most money or the least money, and you'll be sorry. Have fun! Stop overthinking and let's see just how greedy you little monsters are. It's punishment time for the most and least greedy. This is why you should never bring money into a friendship. <laughs> and just like that, everybody died. So early in the game, too. <sighs> that means Dennis wins the office pool. I should have bet you guys were gonna do awful. Terrible tragedy. I'd avoid that old diner on Route 7 if I were you. They serve soggy pancakes. I'd also avoid that old house up on the hill. They say terrible things happen now. A twisted trivia game show with a lot of pop culture references that would go over my head. Eight people died. You hate to hear about a thing like that, but I'm telling you anyway. Tragic. You should stay for supper tonight. Now I'm making a braised lamb with squash puree and mango chutney. It's no trouble. Hi! The party's downstairs. Come on in. Welcome to Trivia Night. I... I feel like we've done this before. We've done this before, right? I just didn't dream that. Weird. Well, let's get to it. First question. I know this answer because God whispered it to me, but... Who executed Joan of Arc? And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, let's play a game. Welcome to the killing floor. 
Let's see if you can string some letters together. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. It'll be good to get your fingerprints on some of these letters, too. But the person with the shortest word will be punished. Start poking those letters with your fingers. By the way, the letters don't have to be touching. And don't forget to press submit when you're done. Let's see what you did there. Bad spelling is unacceptable. This is going to hurt me more than it hurts you. This is where I keep track of all the scores. On this board. I call it a scoreboard. Please don't steal that name from me. Let's try another one. What's the name of the ring the Pope wears? <laughs> and the correct answer is... This. Hmm, too easy. Let's try this again. Don't think of this as a kidnapping and potential murder. Think of this as an opportunity for personal growth. What philosopher wrote in his book, Twilight of the Idols, that which does not kill me makes me stronger. <laughs> and the correct answer is this. Rest of you, let's go someplace fun. Hey girl, welcome back to the killing floor. Let's play a dice game. I'll go first. Nine. Now I need a little help from a safe player. You'll do. In order to live, should they roll higher or lower? The choice. A decision has been made. Roll higher than me or you die. I was so hoping this would happen. Let's see how the scores look now. I've got more questions for you. Where would you find Ayers Rock? <laughs> Who said this one? The rest of you who are still alive, I have a surprise for you. Now I'd like you to make some art. Every little line will be scrutinized. Pottery class. Draw this thing the best you can and press send when you're finished. Everyone gets to vote. I want you to pick the worst drawing. Pick the drawing that makes you go, uh, no. No, sir, I will not have any of that. The votes are in. Personally, I kind of like it, but the people have spoken. You put your heart and soul into that drawing, which is why it had to die. Oh. 
How about this? What famous neighborhood is bordered by Canal Street and Esplanade Avenue? One. Only a ghost got it wrong. Very good. Let's try another one. Which character from Cats is skilled in magic and dancing? <laughs> and the correct answer is... This. Punishment. I'm going to ask you a question. Your life depends on how you answer. What's the best beverage? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. Now everyone gets to vote. Pick which of these answers you hate the most. The person who wrote the answer with the most votes will die. Pick the answer that makes you go, uh, no sir, no. I will have none of that. The votes are in. It's time to punish the writer. Here's another one. What kind of salad dressing contains mayonnaise? <laughs> Who said this? Lame. All right, next question. Kit Kittredge and Julie Albright are characters in what toy line? And the correct answer is... This one. Everyone again, you all need to be taught a lesson. Uh-oh, this is a mess. There's blood all over this art, and it was really expensive. The blood, I mean. Memorize the pattern of blood. Okay, you've had long enough. Ugh, my tummy's upset. I've been eating a lot of farro lately. A lot of people are hung up on quinoa, but farro is where it's at. Yeah, they're both ancient grains and both are a good source of protein, but only farro gives me that smug self-satisfaction that lets me look down at all you quinoa eaters. Anywho, reproduce the pattern on your device by tapping on all the spaces that were red. Then press submit when you're done. The person who is furthest from the pattern will die. Here's that arch again. Now it's time to show your work. Ties are fun, right? Oh crap, everybody's dead. I need somebody alive for the final round. Okay then. You get to live a wee bit longer because you're doing the best. And I like you. Okay, moving on. Congrats on making it here alive. Now let's see if you can escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. 
legumes. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. Aww, you have to get answers right to get closer to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. If ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Bunch of smart people, huh? Here's another one. Chinese zodiac animals.
Hi! The party's downstairs. Come on in. <laughs>